Hello everyone, welcome to Ewatep. So from this class, we will start building the full step application. So in a full stack application, there are two ends, the front end and the back end. So for the front end, the original process is to design the UI. Then we have to create the uh, UI port. Then we have to make it responsive. But in this course, or in this uh, series, we will not be doing all these things. Uh, rather, we will go to Google and then we will find some pre themes, pre HTML responsive themes, HTML responsive templates. And we will download a template from here and we will, ins uh, we will use this template in our case. So let us start a good template. Okay, so my objective uh, of this uh, series is not to teach you how to make a professional website. But my objective is to teach you how to make a full stack website. So we will not be focusing mainly on the design. Rather, we will be focusing on making the basic functions uh, using PHP. So here we can see several themes. So let us open this three or four themes. And uh, this is the first theme. Next, if I go here, this is the second theme. And if I go here, this is the third theme. And this is the fourth theme. So these themes are not so good. Uh, rather, let us go to some other website and see. Okay, so let us open this theme, uh, which is called Phoenix. So, and uh, I will now look this theme and check whether we can work on this theme or not. So let us unzip it, and I will click on the index.html file. Well, pretty good. So we can choose this theme. Uh, which have all the files that we will require here. All right, so what I will do now is I will upload all these files and folders to Project Writings. But before that, we will make a new folder and uh, let us name this folder as old. And we will move all the files which we have previously created except the config and the index file. So users underscore it, uh, I will drag it, then user delete, then user edit, lastly user so. So here we had index of PHP file and config of PHP file. And except the config and index, we don't have any other PHP file in the main directory. So I will now create a new folder and let us name that folder as fronting. And inside that folder, I will be uploading all the files that we have recently downloaded. I will also give you the zip file of this theme in this description. And let us now copy it and drag it over here. So till all the files get uploaded, I will quickly open the terminal, which is already opened. So we have uploaded the front end inside the old folder. So let us rename it as front end directly, front end. And uh, we will upload this file directly in our main directory. So I can see seven out of 10 files have been uploaded. Until the time it gets uploaded, we will open the terminal once again. Let me close the previous terminal or let me uh, open a new tab in the terminal section. And here to the spike D F and let us check how much space is given here. But I am unable to type anything in the terminal because I think since the codes are being uploaded directly on the front end. All right, so I can see uh, while typing df, I can see that uh, how much space I have got here. So we have got around 4 GB. We have three disks, SD1, SDB, and disk by Google. And uh, I think this is our main directory. So here, I have got around 10 GB. Out of that, we have utilized 2 GB. All right, so now we can see that the front end has been uploaded. Let us go to the front end and type front end here. Let us see if we can see anything or not. But unfortunately, we have routed it as well through the, through the index.psv file. So in the next video, we'll be converting this HTML files into PSV files. And then we will route all the URLs through index.psv file. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel for more updates.